Hello, and welcome back to the Greenhorn Photo Taker. Today, we continue a story, a story of a three-day road trip to Western Massachusetts, a story where the long way is always encouraged. Day two is upon us, and there's just one goal, complete the eight-mile hike to the summit of Allendale Mountain in Washington State Forest. Mount Washington State Forest is a 4,600-acre woodland nestled into the southwest corner of Massachusetts, bordering New York State to the west and Connecticut to the south. It's home to one of the few old-growth forests in the state, but I was here on this day to ascend Allendale Mountain, a 2,241-foot peak in the Taconic Mountains. Let's join a bright-eyed and bushy-tailed pass Lou as the journey begins at the trailhead. Okay. It is the morning of day two. It's my hike day. And I think we need to recap because it's been a wonderful and frustrating, you know, yesterday was wonderful and frustrating at the same time. The biggest issue is my SD card for much of the footage is trashed. I don't exactly know what happened. Um, but all the footage from the boardwalk, the Appalachian Trail boardwalk, all the footage from Lake Minnewaska, all the GoPro footage is trashed. No files found. So I tried with one of those scan disk repair tools last night. It shows files present, but it also shows low probability of ever recovering them um, and the recovery tool I did try nothing played so I fear those are gone for good oh, it's so frustrating when that happens but the positive was the boardwalk the boardwalk was wonderful the Minnewaska lake was great really exactly what I was hoping for uh, looking back, you can see in some of the photos I took in terms of rocky foreground, lakey middle ground, and Catskills snow covered peaks in the background. So, yeah, that was fun. <laughs> I really enjoyed that. And then we took a ride, I say we, and then I took a ride into the Catskills to find that elusive snow in mid-April and succeeded. So that was, that was fun. Um, this is a nice little section, hold on. And then I stopped off at uh, Never Sink Creek as well, which I just wanted to walk around in the snow and found this, um, I don't know, like on both sides of the road, it always shows posted, no, no trespassing private property. But then next to this trailhead, all of a sudden those signs stopped in one direction. And um, in fact, there was a little sign that said, hey, fishermen, you know, please don't carry in a certain exotic plant or animal on your boots. Um, so I walked, you know, through the woods for a little bit and found the river that you can hear from the parking lot. So that was cool. I really enjoyed that. Um, and then, you know, the rest of the day, just headed towards, uh, Massachusetts and some beautiful, um, back roads and beautiful countryside. And then that brings us to today, which should be an eight mile hike. Now this one is interesting to me because... Um, one of my favorite websites, Hike the Hudson Valley, has never steered me wrong when they recommend a hike. And this is pretty far out of the way, but they recommend it. And it's a flat entrance for a few miles into the woods, and then a fairly steep incline up to Allendale Mountain. Um, that a lot of people rate difficult. And I'm going to find that hard to believe. Um, I think it's only 700 feet. 
But maybe there's something there that we'll encounter that is pretty difficult. Um, we'll make the best of it. We'll make the best of it. So yeah, that's what we have on tap for today. Uh, eight mile out and back. It is rather cold. I have gloves packed, but I've elected to start without them because I know once I put them on, I'll start to sweat. Um, and we'll see what the Massachusetts countryside has for us. I've never hiked here and I'm looking forward to it already. It's definitely different than New Jersey. Much more pine. Um, I don't know what kind of pine trees they are, but much more evergreen, I'll say. Um, and the trails are just maintained differently. As you saw walking in, there were, you know, wood chips <laughs> all along the trail. That has stopped. Um, but the trail here is extremely wide from what I'm accustomed to in New Jersey. One personal aspect I'm trying to accomplish that I too is I'm hiking with not a full pack, but a fairly full camera bag. And I want to see how, you know, the new Shimoda bag holds up for me. Um, I've got the hip braces on to help with that, with the weight. Um, but I've not yet taken this on a long hike with most of my equipment. So it'll be interesting how this shakes out and if it is comfortable or not. was a lovely and unexpected stop. Of course, I thought I was hiking up to an overlook, and you generally don't need a tripod on sunny days um, for these wide, expansive views, so I didn't bring my tripod. And of course, the first stop along the way is a waterfall that I wish I had my tripod for. I did use it as an opportunity, though, to test out the Pixel long exposure mode. Um, you know, out in the field, it looks pretty good. I, I'd like to look at it on a computer, but um, I'm generally satisfied. That was not as bad as I had thought. So we'll have this as a hikeography day, testing and having fun, and just enjoying every moment of being outside. What, what a place. Oh, I love it here. Just a few yards downstream from the waterfall we stopped at <clears throat> is the confluence of these two streams. Um, pretty nice spot. It's not worthy of unpacking, uh, but I will take out the cell phone and enjoy something quick.
So in the past, well, really just last evening and this morning, you know, I just get around to talking to people, either at dinner last night or um, in the hotel this morning at breakfast. I think everyone's heard of Washington State Forest, I think we're in. Yeah, Washington State Forest. But no one's ever heard of this mountain. <laughs> so either hike the Hudson Valley has really gone above and beyond, or this could be a dud, because <laughs> truly no one's ever heard of it. Um, but there must be people coming here often. I mean, this trail is extremely wide, and you can tell it's, it's well maintained. I don't think anyone's been out here over the winter, until now though, just from the downed trees, but that's expected. So generally, this trail gets a lot of love. So somebody must use it to maintain it. Either way, I'm glad I'm here. So one of the things that I love about this trail is I haven't seen a soul yet. It's just the birds and myself. It's so quiet now that we've moved away from that stream and waterfall. Pretty uneventful since the water. Nice stroll, but nothing of um, real interest. Looking at the topo map, I think the fun is a big out <laughs> is begot. I think the fun is about to begin. Um, looks like a pretty steep incline until we summit um, in maybe a mile. This trail is excessively wet as well. Oh, what the f
totally worth it. Behind me are those snow-covered Catskills as well. say this Taconic Trail which is the ridge line I'm walking on that I walked up to I think it's my favorite trail vantage points scenery I've ever been on I was here at Brace Mountain a couple years ago that's maybe four miles uh, behind me I absolutely loved it then too. It's just a little bit out of reach for a day hike. So I don't get up here much, but I'm making it a point to come back in the fall. This is just, the scenery is so amazing up here. I love the rugged trail, all these scrub bushes behind me and to the side. Um, and then, my goodness, the beauty of the mountain ranges and the valleys, it's the Hudson Valley from above. Like in the fall, this place must just be absolutely like outstanding. Um, and I did Brace Mountain before I had the YouTube channel, so I don't really have any good footage of it uh, besides a few pictures. Oh boy, so that is basically the hike I'm heading back down um, I don't think I'll make any stops along the way um, this was just I'm still giddy I am still giddy I love it up here okay onward back to uh, the trailhead back to Miller's pub for a pint In terms of photography, it was really impossible, um, whether I had a tripod or not, to really take specifically composed shots on top of the mountain that day. It was just too windy. There were times when I was trying to kneel close to the ground um, and a wind gust would come and, and partially knock me over and I'd have to put my hand down for support. So most of these pictures do have more of a snapshot type of feel to them, and that's okay. Um, I enjoyed every darn second on top of Allender. But there were two shots, and whether or not I spent more time composing or just got lucky, that I do particularly like a great deal. This first one is from the Pixel. And what really strikes me is the nice, I'll call it a leading line, but it's not really, the leading line of that uh, rock conglomerate into the Hudson Valley. And then just the sweeping ridge uh, from the left also moving into that Hudson Valley. Um, the sky is pretty decent. You know, obviously it's not a sunset or a sunrise, but for the middle of the day, I'm definitely satisfied with how the sky looks. And the one from my Sony that I wish I had better atmosphere for because I love, truly love, the highlighted evergreens at the bottom of frame. Um, but there was just too much haze in the air for the background to really pop for me. Um, and the sky was just so blown out. The way I had to crop this is not spectacular. And I really tried different techniques in Darktable to make this look better, but I wanted to show it to you because I, I do like the composition and the highlighted trees. Um, but unfortunately, that hazy background really just doesn't make this any type of keeper shot. 
But overall, I think this was a wonderful trip up Allendare Mountain. And I highly recommend this hike to anyone who's in the area and wants to give it a shot. So that will do it for today. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, this was the second installment of three. So in the next few days, look for a final video of this mini road trip. Thanks for watching and get out and explore.